doing a, a DAC curve inspection. I uh, sent so DAC transfer distance amplitude curve. This is the first uh, time I ever downloaded on this. Basically, what we got here yeah. is uh, it's a way where you can we can find uh, reflectors of the same size but at different distance from the transducer. You kind of see this block here. You kind of see the dots. They're all the same size, but different distance from the top, obviously. You don't see it, let's see. Uh, so yeah, basically, yeah, so we have a set, so we can find that. We should go over some, or some of my settings here. Like velocity, 0.1278, zeros at 7.136, a range of 4.993 for now, no delay. Pulsar and auto, 190 hertz, 200 pulse energy, 50 ohms of damp, more pulse echo and spike pulsar. Receiver on half negative, and our filter is at 0.2 to 10 megahertz. Got some trig, working with a 70 degree angle. A thickness of a quarter inch and our x value is 0 0.300 right, now let's get back to our main deal here so we got here uh let's see here now i got the transducer on our part and uh you see we're just, just gonna kind of scan over this just see once we have the reflector, it's going to want to jump up a lot more towards that 80%. You really have to get it like exactly on the same angle, but I'm just kind of scanning just to show how it's going to want to peak up. Because all these reflectors are the same. We'll, we'll only calibrate for the first three. So you can see how it's going to really want to spike on there. And then once you get in on the second angle, that's pretty cool. So it's like, oop, it's like, oh, same size. Let's give that a little more juice. So, pretty cool inspection, definitely. Uh, definitely could be useful in uh, manufacturing applications. Maybe if you have a machine that's uh, making similar marks consistently, like in mechanical fashion, which happens from time to time. See, I want a spike there. Uh, let's throw this something like this would come in handy. I could see.